First, Chevy discontinued the Camaro. Now they've discontinued the Malibu. What are they going to race in NASCAR? Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. And yes, think back to March of 2023. Ryan Blaney wasn't a champion yet. People referred to him as the new Casey Kane. And Chevy announced that they would be discontinuing the Camaro. Much to the dismay of NASCAR fans who were left wondering, what are they going to race in NASCAR? At the time, back in 2023, that left only two cars on offer in Chevy's lineup. That would be the Malibu and the Corvette. Well, now, as of May 2024 and this week, Chevrolet announced that they'd be discontinuing the Malibu. Much to the dismay of divorced dads, bad credit car lots, and rental car fleets everywhere, that car will now be sunset and probably never come back, at least not as an internal combustion engine car. So now that leaves just the Corvette on offer for Chevrolet's car offerings. And if all the rumors are true and they're going to spin it off into its own brand, much like we saw Dodge do with Ram trucks and Ford would like to do with the Mustang, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Now, could they do a Frankenstein, you know, type of car like we saw Toyota do with the Super and the Xfinity Series? Yes, that does not fit the brand though. I absolutely do not see that happening. Plus the Corvette is a mid-engine car. None of that really matters, though, because Toyota doesn't make a pushrod V8 for the Camry, yet it has a pushrod V8 for the Camry in the Cup Series. So crazier things have happened. It just doesn't really seem to fit the brand, which has everybody left wondering what will replace the Camaro. Now, Postman Wookie, Wookie Drives on Twitter, former crew member, still has great connections in the industry, tweeted that GM did have a car in the wind tunnel this week. What is that car? I asked around. I asked drivers. They didn't know. I asked some crew people. They didn't know. Apparently, the secret's being guarded more than the Coca-Cola recipe at this point. Chevrolet, GM, nobody wants to talk about it. But I do find it interesting. He mentioned GM and not Chevrolet specifically as, you know, the team, the manufacturer that had a car in the wind tunnel. So there's a few options here, right? They could, of course, continue to race the Camaro for as long as they want. It's essentially a zombie Camaro. There's not a production car counterpart for it. No major updates can be made to the car. Much like we saw this year with Ford and Toyota, their road-going production car counterparts got major facelifts, meaning that their cars on track need to reflect that because at the end of the day, OEMs use NASCAR as a major marketing platform and having a Camry that doesn't look like a Camry doesn't really make any sense. Which is why I don't think that Chevrolet is too keen to keep the Camaro around for too long. Because again, this is a marketing platform. And why market a car that you literally cannot buy? So they could, like I said, continue to run that for as long as they want. Zombie car, can't make any updates to it. But it's on offer. They could also do what they did in 2013. When they brought the Holden Commodore over from Australia, rebranded it, slapped a Chevy SS badge on it, and just called it the SS and raced it in NASCAR. Because at the point, they wanted to have some sort of high-performance car. And the SS, while it never took off really here in America in terms of people wanting to purchase a high-performance four-door sedan, if you have one of those, though, hold on to it. Great resale value. Before I bought my Blackwing, I considered buying one of those. And I still do consider having buying one. If you have one you want to sell, let me know. Do I need do I need two four-door sedans? Absolutely not, but it's a cool car. Holds its value. So that's what they did in 2013, and then obviously in 2018, they introduced the Camaro. So that's an option there. They could take essentially one of the Cadillacs and rebrand that as a Chevrolet, call it an SS, call it whatever, and then have that in NASCAR. I don't think that's what they're going to do, though. It doesn't make much sense when you think about it, because if they're already just killing off their remaining you know, sedan line, why introduce a new one, uh, a half-assed one at that in terms of like it's not a Chevy original design or anything like that? It doesn't really have a place in the lineup. So I don't think that's going to happen. And then that brings it to maybe the most logical and interesting option. And that would be, of course, taking Chevrolet out of NASCAR as, a, as the General Motors brand and putting in Cadillac as the General Motors brand. CT4 Blackwing and Xfinity, CT5 Blackwing in the NASCAR Cup Series. Because right now, when you look at GM's motorsport portfolio, the Cadillac brand is the one that's seemingly doing the most. Right, They have factory outfits in the IMSA GTP class, as well as the World Endurance Championship in their hypercar class. They're trying to get into Formula 1 with Andretti. Why not just have that be the complete motorsport division of, or of General Motors at this point? It makes a lot of sense, and I would absolutely love to see it. Again, it makes sense because it's a high-performance four-door sedan. They seemingly can market it to a vast array of people. I'm in my 30s. I own a CT4 Blackwing. I know people in their 60s that own CT5 Blackwings. That's a wide range of people there that they can market this vehicle to. 
On the other hand, they could, of course, wait until whatever the next version of the Camaro is, right? When they announced that the Camaro would be discontinued, they said that this is not the end of the Camaro's story, meaning that there's likely going to be some sort of EV version of it coming out in the future, whether that's, you know, the Mach-E type of thing that, that Ford did with the Mustang, or if it's going to be like a muscle car EV, kind of like Dodge is doing with the Daytona. All of that is kind of up in the air still. If it is a hybrid, they could, of course, race it in NASCAR, right? The hybridization of NASCAR is coming sooner rather than later. And currently, the Camry, you cannot buy a production version of the new 2024 Camry in a just internal combustion engine car. It has to have, it only comes with a hybrid at this point. Granted, the Cup car still is only just a pushrod V8. So you can see you know, how Chevrolet could do that if this new version of the Camaro, whatever it is, does have some sort of hybrid engine uh, or hybrid component on it. You can wait for that. That'd probably be 2026, maybe 2027 before that happens. Do they want to continue to run the Camaro for 2025, potentially 2026 too, while these other two manufacturers have had new bodies introduced? Uh, maybe. We know that the Camaro currently makes the most front-end downforce out of the three manufacturers in NASCAR. Denny Hamlin said that on his podcast, and he said that NASCAR basically said, this is the max you can go. The Camaro is the top. You can never go past what the Camaro produces. So he said that the Camry had to, of course, work in that box. And I think once Toyota gets this new Camry dialed in, it's going to be the best car in NASCAR. I think that there's still some growing pains with it. Ford is still completely out to lunch here. And I honestly don't know if they know what they're doing at this point because their last three rollouts uh, across multiple series have been lackluster to say the least. Although they'll probably end up winning the championship this year. So there's that. So in terms of what General Motors is going to do, it's a curious case because their production version of of their offerings do not seem to reflect any desire for motorsport speed, anything like that, and hasn't for a while. So that leads credence to people thinking that Cadillac could be the answer here. And maybe just class up the joint a little bit. They think it'd be a fun time uh, to have a different manufacturer come in. No, the Chevelle's not coming back. No, Pontiac's not coming back. No, they're not gonna have the Buick Regal here. Somebody mentioned the Lumina. Sure, give me that Lumina Euro Z34 Coupe. Yeah, let's get that out here and put that in the Cup Series. But for the Camaro and the Malibu, both of them just cease to exist. You know, as Dale so eloquently conveyed to Saul when they're sitting in the woods, it ceased to exist. There's no more future for it, at least now. So, yeah, everybody's kind of left wondering. But hopefully we figure out what was in the wind tunnel this past week and what GM has up their sleeve. Because apparently it's being guarded like a heavy secret. And, you know, it could be a new car that just hasn't been announced yet. And I've seen a lot of people mention that. But in order for that to be, you know, for 2026, if hypothetically speaking, if that's when they want to roll out a new car, you would think that the production version of it would already be on the road testing somewhere. We would have seen spy shots of it. I mean, the new Dodge Charger, they couldn't even produce it in the factory without people leaking images of it. I have to imagine if there is a new Camaro or a new Chevy offering of a performance car of some kind, that would have been leaked already because you would have had to have had some sort of styling together. So you're going to tell me in the next 18 months they're going to get this new car completely together? Just doesn't seem likely. Plus, the Malibu factory in Kansas City has been retooled or will be retooled for, I believe, like the Chevy Trax and the Cadillac uh, XT4. So it doesn't, again, I'm having a hard time kind of seeing where this potential new car can come from. Of course, it could still happen. But for now, we don't know what Chevrolet is going to race or what General Motors, rather, I should say, is going to race in NASCAR. It is maybe the biggest we all talk about silly season, right? May is kind of the month silly season kicks off and it's really hit, it's about to hit full force. What happens with Chevrolet in their next, or General Motors rather, in their next car in NASCAR might be the biggest story going at the moment, or at least the one that people know the least about uh, as it stands. So yeah, if I find out or get some concrete information on it and we can at least talk about it, we'll make another video. But for now, Everything remains absolutely up in the air. So let me know in the comments what you think they're going to race next. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.